questions for Santa's yeah. lab? He played Victor Crow. How is it? What are you doing now that Harry Potter's over? Um, I've moved on. I'm, you know, I've started an, uh, an acting career and um, I've shot a few films. I've just come off a TV show back in Bulgaria and I have another film coming out in 10 days. So um, I, I, I've kept acting. How do, how do you like working with Daniel Redfield? Uh, he's a great chap. He's a really cool guy and uh, I really loved working with him. And, you know, in the fourth film we spent quite a bit of time together. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just like being kids. What is your favorite film in all eight movies? Uh, it has to be the fourth one. <laughs> you know, you get all that action, you get the Durmstrangs in, you get the Burr Buttons. You know, it's, it's a lot more fun than um, the other three. Okay. Okay. Um, what are you doing now that Harry Potter is over? Um, I'm working on a movie called Anna Karenina. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to you at the moment. But uh, apart from that, I'm doing a movie called Anna Karenina, which is why I have this stupid beard. Yeah, that's the answer to the question. Lovely to meet you. Okay. How are you doing? Good. How are you? All right. What are you doing now that Harry Potter is over? I'm, I'm filming down in Malta. I'm filming a, a series called Sinbad <laughs> for Sky TV. That's what I'm doing. Okay. How do you like working with Daniel? Rat. Daniel is such, he's very courteous, very, you know, very highly intelligent person and a real treat to work with. He's really exceptional. Yeah. What was your favorite film in all eight movies? The favorite film? Yeah. Order of the Phoenix. I love Order of the Phoenix because I'm, 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 I'm part of Order of the Phoenix. How does it feel to be in all of the feelings? Huh? How does it feel to be in all of the feelings? How does it feel? Yeah. How does it feel what? To be in all of the feelings. To be in all, all of the feelings. Order of the Phoenix? Yeah. Order of the, how does it feel to be in all of the feelings? Well, you know, that was my first, my first HP film. And uh, um, I was excited and uh, in awe of the whole operation. It was such a big, big production. I've been in some big movies already, but this was like the biggest of the big. So it was, I'm, I was just excited about it. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, darling. What are you doing now that Harry Potter is over? I am working very hard on a film with lots of other Harry Potter actors uh, called Great Expectations. And um, I run a comedy website called Pin Dippy which has got other Harry Potter actors in too. I'm just taking Harry Potter actors everywhere with me. <laughs> How do you like working with Daniel? Daniel, especially Daniel. Well, I, I like Daniel a lot. He's nice. What are your, what are your, what is your favorite film in all eight movies? Oh, um, oh, Harry Potter and the Harbour Prince. I'm kind of biased. But, uh, or Harry Potter and the Prisoner, Prisoner of Azkaban. Thank yeah. you. What are you doing now that Harry Potter is over? Well, I am currently studying photography, as you can see with my camera. Um, I have six months left to go before I graduate. Um, and afterwards, I would love to continue with acting, hopefully. Um, and maybe do a bit of photography on the side as well. What is your favorite film in all eight f movies? Um, my favorite film to be part of would be the the last one because it's the last one, um, and you know a lot goes on in that one. Um, there's the big battle at the end, if you remember. Um, so that was great to be part of, um, and to watch is Prisoner of Azkaban. I love that movie. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, sweetie. You had a lot of makeup on. Was it heavy? Was it hard? The makeup is very heavy. Yeah, it's it's made of a silicon rubber, uh, and it takes about four hours to apply. Uh, and then just to finish it all off, I have a very sharp teeth that I put in that are like they're pin sharp. So I have to be careful not to bite my own tongue. And uh, and then contact lenses that that kind of cover my entire eyeball. So I can't see very well when I'm playing grip pocket. Everything's very dark. 
there's a little tunnel, little little very small area in the middle I can see. Um, but uh, but it looks fantastic, so it makes all of that worthwhile. But it is a bit uncomfortable. Okay, thank you. Uh, nice meeting you. Now we got this young lady from Flick Direct. Come over this side. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm uh, not too bad, thank you. All right. All right. What is your favorite seat in all eight movies? My favorite scene in the mall is probably the uh, Ewell Ball scene in uh, the fourth movie. Just because it looked so pretty, like the effort that the guys put into dressing the sets and we all got to wear some really, really nice clothes. We got to dance with some really, really cool people. We had eight weeks of learning how to ballroom dance. So uh, it was really, really cool. We were always playing practical jokes while we were there, you know, trying to push everybody over. And, and I wasn't very good dancing, so it was a bit strange. What are you doing now that Harry Potter's over? Uh, since Harry Potter finished, I uh, I love horses. So because of Harry Potter, I had to give up horse riding for six years. So once it finished, I got back into riding again, show jumping. And uh, that's what I've been doing since. But hopefully now, once, say, the new year, I'll hopefully maybe do one or two more movies. Fingers crossed. Thanks. Thank nice you meeting much. you. Nice meeting you too. Have a great night. Oh, Hello. Sorry. Hello. How are you doing, miss? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. What are you doing now that Harry Potter's over? Oh, <laughs> that's a difficult question, isn't it? Well, I've got a lot of free time. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I just finished shooting the pilot for a TV series, um, and that got commissioned. So I'm going to be shooting the rest of that in April, so that'll be a fair while. But it's called The Mimic, and it's going to be on Channel 4 in the UK, and hopefully it will come over here. What is your favorite film in all eight movies of Harry Potter? I'm, I'm going to say the last one. I'm going to say the second part of the seventh one. But I think I have to qualify that because I, I realized that after every film, I said I thought the last one was the best one. And I thought, are they just consistently getting better? And I think that that is true. I think they do get better because we all get more comfortable with each other. Everyone gets more experienced and, and they do improve. But also, that I think I forget how good the other ones are. <laughs> so I think maybe that's something to do with it as well. But I'd say, you know, at this stage, the last, the part two of the seventh film. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Dean. Hi. Hi, Victoria. How are you doing? Do you want me to get into the light? Or, or... Uh, no, sorry, all right, what are you doing now that Harry Potter is over? Very nice to see you. Well, uh, before Harry Potter started, I was a kind of old British character actor in films. I did some films that you've probably never seen. Do you ever see 101 Dalmatians? Oh, okay, I was in that. So, um, I'm doing, I've done another film uh, with Glenn Close who was in 101 Dimensions called Albert Nobbs, which will be out soon. And also, the best thing is I'm going to be doing, I've been playing some baddies, which is fun. On, uh, on television, I've done a... Well, actually, the guy, Glenn Close, is a bit of a baddie. And the Glenn Close film, the Rodrigo Garcia film. So that's what I'm doing. And what are you doing? What are you doing next? Some more presenting? No. What is your favorite film in all eight movies of the Harry Potter? To be in or to watch? Which one? Watching or being in it? Yeah. Well, the one I was in or one to watch? Okay. To be in was a Goblet of Fire because we spent a lot of time going to the Quidditch World Cup and it was fun. Thank you for asking me your questions. Crying. <laughs> I'm in tears all the time. Um, uh, I'm working, I'm developing other films. I, uh, I might make a film with Kenneth Branagh, uh, who directed Thor recently. Um, and I'm, some, uh, there's a, a, a wonderful writer-director called Bruce Robinson, who's just released a film called The Rum Diary. I'm working with him. So, um, and developing television, which I've never done before. Very different from Harry Potter, but um, fun and exciting, I hope. Thank you. Thank you. You're great. Hey, David. Uh, now here's Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Hi. Hello. Did you ever... Okay. Did you ever think you would direct four Harry Potter films? No, you know, I, I was sure I would direct one of them. They signed me up for one with an option to do a second one. 
and then I really loved working with Dan Rupert, Emma and uh, all the guys, Tom Felton, they were all fantastic to work with and um, the world was really intoxicating, it was just an exciting place to be and so while I was finishing the first movie they asked me for the second and when I was finishing the second they said well you're here now you might as well finish them and so I said oh go on then I'll finish them and that's what happened so I never imagined in my wildest dreams I'd make four I never really actually anticipated make, making one originally so but it's been wonderful and it's been a great great privilege you. you're welcome mate thank you quick question here what's your name Victoria. hi Victoria nice Hello. to meet you nice to meet you too what are you doing now that but that Harry Potter's finished. Yes. What am I doing now that Harry Potter's finished? Well, I am working on a film. Did you see the third Harry Potter film, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban? I'm working with that director on a film called Gravity, which stars George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. And then I'm looking for other projects. I'm reading and developing and, and uh, we'll see what happens next. What is your favorite film in all of the Harry Potter movies? Ooh, you know, each film has a different meaning for me because the first film was the first film. Um, the end of the second film, beginning of the third film was when I met my wife. Um, the fifth film, we got married. Sixth film, we had a baby. So each film has memories personally. And over the course of it, I made great friends and had great experiences. So it's hard for me to distinguish to say one is my favorite as opposed to another. Also, I want to carry on working with the directors, all of them, and I don't want one to think I like the other, like him more than the, like the other more than him. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Oh, is this your card? Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher will, right? One second. <laughs> You're the chief executive officer. Thank you. Come over here, Victoria. Okay. Oh my gosh, where am I going to start? Okay. <laughs> Um, how does it feel like to be Daniel's best friend in the movie? Yeah, it was it was it was really fun. Um, me and Dan got on really well. All all of our car, all of the cast got on really well, and it was kind of like we all grew up together really. And um, so yeah, it's it was it was it was really special. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Now we have Victoria here. Hi, Victoria. Hi, She's with Flick Direct. Cool. Okay, since there's two of you, yes, both of you. Do you mind? Yeah. Is that all right? Yes. Hey, yeah. All right. What are your both favorite scenes in all of the Harry Potter movies? <laughs> Favorites. Um, I think I think my favorite scene in all the, all the Harry Potter films was uh, when Fred and George leave the school, and they uh, they're able to uh, set off that huge dragon, what gets Umbridge. That was my favourite one. I think mine would be, it's actually in this one, in Death Hallows Part 2, um, like it's the big final battle sequence. And I think that, that is cool because you, you don't know what's going to happen. And it, the, it's, you see so many of your favourite characters getting killed or injured. You, you, get very, you, know, you get really caught up in the moment. It's really cool. Good? Yes. Thank awesome. you very much. Have a great evening. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.